Stuart from Perennial Harvest here showing you Food Forest Part 2, Glen Arbor, Michigan. Just a quick little uh, grow tip. So we've got um, a lot of mulch and soil building on our little beds here, try to establish. We've got pretty well established raspberries. But what we're doing in the middle is adding the same kind of stuff. We're underlaying with the cardboard seed and then putting mulch on top of that because your nutrients are going to diffuse and kind of spread out. So if you're trying to plant something that's really nutrient dependent, and you're wondering why it's struggling, uh, throw in some mulch beds as well, because this is, up here at least, it's super sandy soil, so we're, uh, we're making sure the nutrients stick around instead of washing down and you know draining out into the sandy uh, walking path in the middle. Yeah, fig tree, you got it, right there. Uh, full sun, kind of surrounded by more rocks, plant in the fall, this has been three years, uh, we'll do another year at least of uh, black garbage bag uh, over in the winter uh, just to help it uh, get through the, the winter. But it's a hardy fig. It's a Chicago fig uh, is, is the, the type. So yeah, they'll do well. Keep it full sun, surrounded by rocks, kind of recreated Mediterranean type of climate, if, if you will. Uh, the blueberries right here, doing pretty well. We're in an oaky pine, de pine area. Uh, but you want to just make sure it's got rich soil too, so yeah, a little grow tip. Make some nutrient rich walking paths as well. But you don't want weeds, so uh, a little under layer of cardboard. You can do it. <laughs>